Doris Lessing, Shikasta, Canopus in Argos, Archive Series, Book One. I have bought this on the Kindle version and I seriously suggest that people should read this book or read the whole series as it is extremely relevant to events that are happening today. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to read this short passage where Yohor, uh, an agent of cannabis, has to physically enter the earth, which is Shikasta, the broken one of the broken frequency. That's the planet Earth. And this is the initial account of how the agents in Canopus enter the 3D physical dimension in a physical body without incarnating. Yohor reports when I was asked to undertake this mission, my third, it was not expected that I would spend much time in Zone 6, but that I would move through it fast, perhaps stopping only as long as I would need for a task or two. But it was not known then that Taufik had been captured and that others would have to do his work, myself in particular, and do it quickly for there would not be time for me to incarnate and grow to adulthood before attending to the various urgencies that had developed because of Taufik's misfortune. Our personnel on Shikasta are stretched to capacity as it is, and there is no one equipped to replace Taufik. It is not always realised that we are not interchangeable. Our experiences, some chosen, some involuntary, mature us differently. We may have all begun on one of the planets, and some of us even on Chicasta in the same way, and with not much more to choose between us than between puppies of the same litter. But after even some hundreds of years, let alone thousands, we have been fused, baked out, crystallised into forms as different as snowflakes are to each other. When one of us is chosen to go down to Shikasta or any other planet, it is only after deliberation. Yohor is fitted for this or that task, Nasar for that one and Taufik for a specific, difficult, long-term job that it seemed he and only he could do. And in parenthesis and without emphasis, I confess here that there is a weight of self-doubt on me. Taufik and I had more than once been considered as very alike, not equivalents, never that, but we have often headed a short list. We have been friends for, but how many times and in how many planets have we worked together? And if so alike, brothers, life and death partners, friends on that level, where there is nothing that may not be said and no aspect of each other for which both may not take on absolute responsibility, if we are so close, and he is lost to us, temporarily of course, but nevertheless lost, and part of the enemy forces then, what may I not expect for myself? I record here that as I prepare for this trip, one of whose main tasks is to take over Taufik's undone work, that I spend many units of energy reinforcing my own purpose. No, no, I shall not, I tell myself, I shall not go the way of Taufik, my brother, and again, I shall withstand what I know I must, 
And this is why I reacted so badly to the news that I must spend so much time in Zone 6. I know well from last time that it is a place that weakens, undermines, fills one's minds with dreams, softness, hungers, that one had hoped, one always does hope, had been left behind forever. But it is our lot, our task, over and over again, to submit ourselves to hazards and dangers and temptations. There is no other way. But I do not want to be in Zone 6. I was there twice before. Once as a junior member of the task force of the first time, then as emissary in the penultimate time. Of course it will have changed, as Shikasta has. I pass through zones 1 to 5 with all my inputs held to a minimum. I have visited them at various times and they are lively and for the most part agreeable places, since their inhabitants are those who have worked their way out of and well past the Shikastan drag and pull and are out of the reach of the miasmas of Zone 6. But they are not my concern now, and traversing them I experience no more than a rapid flicker of forms, sensations changes from heat to cold, exhilaration. Soon I knew I was close to the embryons of Zone 6 by what I felt, and without being told I could have said, Ah, yes, Shikasta. There you are again, and with an inward sigh, a summoning of forces. A twilight of grief, Mists of hungry longing, a sucking drag of all the emotions, and I had to force each step. And it was as if my ankles were being held by hands I could not see, as if I walked weighted by beings I could not see. Out of the mists I came at last, and there, where my last time I was here I had seen grasslands, streams, grazing beasts. Now there was only a vast, dry plain. Two flat black stones marked the eastern gate, and assembled there were throngs of poor souls yearning out and away from Shikasta, which lay behind them on the other side of the dusty plains of Zone 6. Feeling me there, for they could not then see me, they came jostling forward like blind people, their faces turning and searching, and they groaned, a deep yearning groan. And as I still did not show myself, they began a keen, a keening chant, or hymn, which I remembered hearing in Zone 6 all those thousands of years before.